Okay guys, so welcome ulit dito sa ating YouTube channel. Um, ito na yung lesson 29 sa ating college algebra. Ito na yung geometric progression. So, pag-usapan natin dito sa geometric progression and mean lang. So, naka-different. So, sa ibang video ko pinag-usapan si Erlins kasi some of finite and infinite geometric series. Kasi medyo mahaba rin. Okay, so, uh, uh, an ordered set of numbers is said to be said to form a geometric progression GP if every term after the first is obtained by multiplying the term immediately preceding it by a fixed number called the common ratio. Okay, hence the sequence a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, that, that, a sub n is a geometric progression. So, sir, parehas sila ni a sub ni arithmetic progression ng notation. Yes, parehas lang naman. Wala naman tayong pinagkaibigan. Basta, meron lang silang rule na sinasabi. Para maging, uh, para kunyari, ito a sub 1, ito kasi ibig sabihin niya ni eh, sinabi niya. So, natin sa a sub 1, Yung susunod sa kanya, yung a sub 1, i-multiply ko siya sa ratio. Well, ito yung a sub 2 natin. So, meaning, ito na yung a sub 2. Okay, so next is, i-multiply natin, sunod, si a sub 2, kr. So, ito na si a sub 3 natin. Okay, then, follow by a sub 3, multiply by r. So, ito si a sub 4 natin. So, minimum multiply tayo something sa kanya. Okay, so ganyan naman yung gagawin. So, kunyari, nakuha mo yung ratio. Kung gusto mong kumuha ng mga sunod sa kanya, ang gawin mo na, i-multiply mo lang siya sa common ratio. So, then, ngayon, may kita mo na yung second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Okay, so ganyan yung gagawin natin dito. Okay, ngayon, so para masabi ko naman siya na geometric progression. So, it is GP, if and only if, if and only if, si E sub 2, over a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 ah uh, sorry a sub 3 over a sub 2 equal to a sub 4 over a sub 3 is equal to that, 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 that equal sa a sub n over a sub n minus 1 which is equal sa r okay so dapat equal yung mga yun so para maintindihan natin yan para malaman natin na siya geometric progression so check natin dito Okay, so dapat yung common ratio is yung quotient nung second term sa nung na unang term anong preceding term dun sa initial term natin. Okay, so una, this is 1 negative 1 negative 2 4 negative 8. So check natin kung arit kung GP siya, geometric progression. So sabi negative 2 over 1 equal ba to sa 4 over negative 2 equal ba to sa negative 8 over 4. Yes, sir. They are all equal kay negative 2, which is the common ratio. So, therefore, may common ratio sila. Therefore, ito ay GP. Okay, next. Ito naman. Yung next natin. This is 81. 81 over 27 equal kay 27 over 9 equal kay 9 over 3. So, they are all equal kay 3, which is equal kay R. So, therefore, ito ay also GP, a geometric progression. Next, lastly, yung number 3, uh, square root of 6 over 8, all over square root of 3 over 16, equal by yan kay square root of 3 over 2, divided by square root of 6 over 8. So, check natin. Solve lang ako na isa. So, solve ko tong part na to. So, ang mangyari dito, is square root of 6 over 8 multiplied by 16 over square root of 3. Ma, sa kabila naman part, sa kabila part, is square root of 3 over 2 multiplied by 8 over square root of 6. Okay, so kung napansin nyo, mangyari, this is 2. May matitirang 2 dito, no? So, this is 2 square root of 6 over 3 ito naman ni equal sa 4 ah, kasi baliktad no? so this is 4 this is 4 naman then square root ng 3 over 6 ok so check natin this is 2 square root of 2 ito naman ang mangyari 1 half no? 
So, equal ba to sa, ito, equal sa 4 times square root ng 1 half. Then, multiply by 2 over 2, kasi ganun mangyayari. So, therefore, that is equal sa 4 square root of 2 over 2, which is equal din sa 2 square root of 2. So, tama, equal lang. Okay, so, therefore, GP to. So, ito ay geometric progression din. Okay, so, kasi may common ratio, which is 2 square root of 2, parehas lang. Okay, so ngayon, para natin kukunin yung n term na isang geometric progression. So, if the sequence 1, ito yun, equation na yan, i-form a geometric progression with common ratio r, then the n term of a geometric progression is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Ganun lang siya. Kasi, again, where a sub 1 is the first term of the geometric progression, n is yung n ni sa a sub n na yan. Yung tinutukoy na yan. Okay, so let's have example. So example, number 1. So if the following sequence is a geometric progression, then find a sub n of the following. So dito ay hinahanap is a sub 6 kasi n is 6. So una natin hahanapin talaga dapat dito is ratio. So for the ratio, obvious naman, uh, ratio di, lagi ko na no, a sub 1 natin obviously is 2. n natin is 6 kasi yun yung hinahanap. Yung ratio natin na R is equal to 10 divided by 2 equal by yan sa 50 divided by 10. So, that is all 5. Okay, so, meaning yung ratio natin is 5. So, we are now ready to find the value of A sub 6. So, the value of A sub 6 is equal to A sub 1 R raised to N minus 1. Wherein A sub 1 is 2, R is 5 raised to 6 minus 1. Which is, this is equal to 2 times 5 raised to 5. It is 5 raised to 5. That is 3,125. 3,125. Which is equal to 6,250. So, ito yung A sub 6. Okay, so palaki siya ng palaki. Okay, next is letter B. Square root of 2, negative 6, neg tapos 6 square root of 2. So, check natin ano yung a sub 1. a sub 1 is 3 square root of 2. Then, yung n natin is 12 kasi given. Okay, then yung ating r is negative 6 over 3 square root of 2. Equal ba to sa 6 square root of 2 over negative 6. So, kung napapansin nyo, equal lang to sa negative square root of 2. Yun yung common ratio. Negative square root of 2. Pag sinold nyo na lang. Okay, so now we are ready to find a sub 12. a sub 12 is a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1, which is a sub 1 is 12. This is negative square root of 2, raised to 12 minus 1. Okay, then, syempre, uh, that is 12. So this is 12, plus negative square root of 2, raised to 11. Okay, so ang mangyari, yung uh, negative 1 raised to 11, negative 1 pa rin. Okay, then 2, papasok sa loob yan. So, this is equal sa 12 multiplied by 2 raised to 11. Okay, so may lalabas na parang negative 32 dyan. So, that is 12 times negative 32 square root of 2. Ayun yung magiging sagot din. Kaya natin, 12 times negative 32, that is negative 384. So, therefore, si A sub 12 is negative 384. Negative 384 is square root of 2. So, sir, bakit nagkaroon ng ganun? Again, yung 2 raised to 11, yung 2 raised to 10, pinactor out ko. Square root ng 2 raised to 10, 2 raised to 5, that is 32. 32 times negative 1 is negative 32. Kaya, naging yun nangyari. May natara pa kasing 2 sa loob. Okay, then, saka ako siya. May multiply dyan. Okay, then, letter C. Find the seventh term of the progression. 2, 1, 1 half, and so forth. Okay, so, I think dito, ang kanyang R is 1 half. Parang ganun. Uh, so, ready natin. So, A sub 1 here is 2. N here is 7. Uh, R natin dito is 1 divided by 2, which is equal sa 1 half. 1 half divided by 1, which is equal lang sa 1 half. Yung ratio natin is just 1 half. Okay, so, 
Since yun yung ratio natin, solve natin si a sub 7. a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, this is equal to a sub 1 which is 2. Then, this is 1 half raised to 7 minus 1. So, this is 2 raised to 1 over uh, times 1 half raised to 6. So, 1 half raised to 6 is 1 over 64. So, this is simply equal to 2 times 1 over 64. Okay, and which mean that is 1 over 32. So, this is a sub 7. So, yung 7th term is 1 over 32. Okay, so napaka-dali lang niya. So, lagyan ko ng konting twist. Okay, so for number 2, find the three geometric means between 1 over 9 and 9. So, katulad nung approach natin sa arithmetic progression. So, suppose na yung 1 over 9 is yung a sub 1, tapos yung 9 natin yung a sub uh, a sub something. Pero, syempre, sulat mo na natin in terms of so, since three geometric means, pinana ito yung 1 over 9. Okay, ito yung blank. 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 Then, 9. So, meaning, limang term. Okay, so, meaning, a sub 1. a sub 1 natin is uh, 1 over 9. N natin is 5. Okay, so, yung a sub 5 natin is equal to 9 so meaning using yung formula natin ok so using yung formula uh, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 uh, raised to n minus 1 so this is a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 uh, raised to 5 minus 1 so a sub 5 is 9 a sub 1 is 1 over 9 then, ito ay r raised to 4. Okay, so, therefore, this is 81 is equal to r raised to 4. And what is r? r is equal to 4th root of 81. So, this is 4th root of 81. That is simply r is equal to positive and negative 3. So, dalawa yung value. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin una, di ba, ang ginagawa natin para ma-insert natin dyan, imumultiply natin sa kanya. So, for r is equal to 3, Okay, for r is equal to positive 3. Ano yung mga term natin? Una, yung 1 over 9 times 3, this is 1 third. 1 third times 3, kasi ito yung sunod, this is 1. Tapos 1 times 3, this is 3. So, therefore, ito yung unang term. Ang unang na form yung sequence is uh, 1 over 9, si 1 third, si 1, si 3, tapos si 9. Ito yung una. Okay, next is for r is equal to negative 3. For r is equal to negative 3. Ano mangyari? That is 1 over 9 multiplied by negative 3. That is negative 1 third. Negative 1 third times negative 3. That is positive 1. 1 times negative 3. That is negative 3. Nga. So, yun yung tatlo. So, ano mangyari? Ano yung mga term? Ang mga term niya is 1 over 9 negative 1 third 1 negative 3 tapos 9 okay so ganun lang siya kasimple sa pag insert ng geometric means okay so ito yung pinaka parang i think mapapaisip tayo so hindi ko rin na check ano yung dapat sagot dito pero hoping na magawa natin saan na sa likod saan na sa batok okay so check natin so find the ninth term of the geometric progression which has which has 4, its 4th and 7th term, negative 4 and 2, 5, 6 respectively. So, yun natin, natin, 9th term, no? Given na yung 4th term, saka uh, given na yung 4th term, saka yung 7th term is negative 4, saka 2, 5, 6. So, may form na naman yata tayo dito na equation. Okay, so, una is yung a sub 4. Meron akong a sub 4 equal to sa a sub 1 tapos r raise sa 4 minus 1 kasi a sub 4 eh okay? which is yung a sub 4 natin is negative 4 so this is negative 4 equal sa a sub 1 r raise sa 3 so let me call this equation 1 ulit okay next sa a sub 7 a sub 7 that is equal sa a sub 1 r raise to 7 minus 1 in which yung a sub 7 natin is 2, 5, 6. 
256 which is a sub 1 then r raised to 6 so ano ba dapat gawin natin dyan para ma-compare or para mawala uh, let me call this equation 2 by the way so dito hindi pa di elimination or something no I think ang possible dito is uh, syempre pareha sila may a sub 1 so what if a sub 1 yung kunin natin dito so in this in this, so natin yung a sub 1 dito a sub 1 dito is negative 4 over r raised to 3 so ito, sa substitute ko dun sa value na yun, para mahanap natin yung r, kasi r importante tapos mahanap natin yung a sub 1 so dito, this is 2, 5, 6 is equal to negative 4 r raised to 3 tapos r raised to 6 note that negative 4 yun, so anong mangyari this is 2, 5, 6 is equal to negative 4 r raised to 3 kasi r raised to 6 over r, r raised to 3 is minus no? kaya r raised to 6 minus negative 3 minus 3 is r raised to 3 so next is divide natin both side dyan so, this is 2, 5, 6 over negative 4 is equal to r raised to 3 Ma, so check ko lang check ko lang din sa value para makita natin kamali nyo naman ang pinaglalagay na values hmm, dama naman negative 4 ok so next is kukunin natin yung cube root nyan so yung 256 ano ba cube root ng 256 ano ba yung cube root ng 256 So, walang cube root 2.6. So, possible lang si negative 1. Kasi may negative 1 something dyan. Okay. So, may nakita akong way para magawa natin. Okay. So, divisible para no, si 2.5.6 kay negative 4. Ngayon ko lang naisip. 2.5.6 divided by negative 4 is negative 64. Okay. So, this is negative 64 is equal to r cube so cube root of negative 64 is equal to r so cube root of negative 64 is negative 4 ok so therefore r is equal to negative 4 ok so meron tayong r problema lang si a sub 1 so paano hanapin si a sub 1 a sub 1 is just equal sa negative 4 over negative 4 raised to 3 so para nangyari nyan kinansel ko lang yung isang negative 4 so maging 1 over negative 4 raised to 2 in which that is 1 over 16 yung magiging 1 yung a sub 1 natin kasi negative 4 raised to 2 ok then therefore para manap si 9, a sub 9 a sub 9 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to 9 minus 1 in which a sub 1 is 1 over 16 Tama. Then, si R is negative 4 raised sa 8. So, negative 4 raised sa 8. It's negative 4 raised sa 8. That is 6, 5, 3, 6. So, A sub 9 is equal to 6, 5, 5, 3, 6 over 16. Divide that is 16 yan. That is 4, 9, 6. So, A sub 9. So, A sub 9 is 4,000. 96. So, therefore, ito yung kanyang sagot. So, yun, useful pala to. Kala ko, hindi divisible kasi. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. So, hoping na panoorin mo next video kasi yung next video is all about the sum of infinite and infinite geometric progression.